Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is insane. If you like giant hog moths, then if you come to Ragua, you will be in the right place. Or on my YouTube channel, of course. So I work for a natural reserve in southeastern Brazil, it's called Ragua, and I'm documenting all the species of butterflies and moths here in the area. A dream job, isn't it? Well, today I came across a species I've always wanted to see. This is the giant hawk moth Amphimuea valkeri, and its wingspan is super large, as you can see. And what's also really interesting about this species is that this species has one of the largest proboscis of all species of moths. Really fascinating, and perhaps if we are really careful, I can do a demonstration of that, but we have to be so gentle with it, because it would like to fly away. Okay, I know how to handle these animals, so don't worry, I am not hurting it. Oh, there, do you see this enormous proboscis? I have never seen a moth in my life with such a huge proboscis. And now let's see if we can unfurl it a little bit. Gently, gently, this needs to be done carefully. I know how to do this without hurting the animal. Oh my god, look at that. That is insane. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at that giant proboscis. Now, why does it have this adaptation, you're probably wondering. Well, the proboscis is used to suck nectar from flowers. And by evolving a very long one, this moth can pollinate a lot of flowers with nectar that is hidden deeply inside of the flower. Look at that, it's incredible. Now don't worry guys, I have to reiterate, this does not hurt the animal. I've handled and raised thousands of moths in my life, I'm very experienced. I just want to show you the magic of this species. Now, before we release this incredible creature back into the wild, I would like to have one last look at it. Because this is really one of my favorite hawk moths in Brazil. It's Amphimoea valkyrie. Remember the name. If you look close, you can see on its wings and on its scales, it has some very beautiful red-brown accents. It does seem to be missing a minor amount of scales on its back, unfortunately. It's trying to rearrange the proboscis, as you can see. And its abdomen is also really beautiful. It has a very unusual pattern on it. Wow, it's so beautiful. I'm wondering if we can take a sneak peek at the hind wings. Will the moth allow it? Oh, wow. Hind wings have a very interesting little pattern on them too. With this dark patch. This hog moth is incredible. I'm going to release this incredible creature now back into nature where it belongs. I do not harm or hurt the animals. I just harass them a little for views, but that's fine. I know how to touch them and I'm a researcher here that studies insects. I know what I'm doing and my work contributes to entomology and the environment. Amphimoea valkyrie. What an incredible species. Now guys, if you want to see giant hog moths like this, make sure that you visit Regua, Reserva Ecologica de Guapiatsu. We are a natural reserve in southeastern Brazil and everybody can visit here. Tourists, students, scientists, and even volunteers. So please, send us a message. And we can go moth trapping and find giant hog moths. All right, buddy, let's put you back so you can continue to pollinate orchids and other important flowers in the rainforest. Goodbye. <laughs>